Good evening, how are you tonight? Good evening, I'm fine, thanks. And you? Good, very good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Uh, good evening, Arnoldo. I have fever. I have fever, teacher. Oh, sorry. Uh, did you see the doctor? So, you no. sure it's not COVID? No. If I go to the doctor, uh, possibly send me to the uh, El Salvador hospital. <laughs> Not always, but I know I don't know. I don't like it. How do you know it's not it's not COVID? No. Uh, uh, para 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 ingomedalitis porque tengo cerrada la amígdala. Oh. Bueno. I have flu. Okay. But I'm here. So, is que alguna infección o, o alergia? 
va a ser una infección. Bueno, a ver. A ver si entra Frida y que te des tu consulta virtual. <risa> Ready. Good evening. Good evening. Oh my, it's been hot today. Very hot. It's, mo it's most hot for me. <laughs> it is harder. You say harder. Yeah. I have cold, but I have a fever. Yeah. My daughter touched me and sent me and say me, you are a cold. <laughs> you are a frozen. Oh. Okay, people, welcome one more time. Okay, so as we, as we did last week, and I want to hear your, um, I want to hear you, you talking about your weekend. So quickly, please, you're going to tell me how was your weekend? Okay, what did you do? Where did you go? Not too long, no, no muy largo, but I want to hear you talking about that, okay? So prepare and tell me, how was your weekend? Para que Ana Lilian no se sienta que le caemos siempre con patada al pecho, vamos a comenzar por Wendy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to call the attendance and you say present and then you tell me what you did during the weekend, okay? Okay, so Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay, Wendy, tell us, what did you do in your weekend? Okay. Um, in Saturday in the morning, I, I work. work. Uh -huh. And ah, in the afternoon, when the supermarket. Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> Today is Monday only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, right. in Sunday, Sunday in the morning, when, when the church. In, in the afternoon, when the supermarket too. Oh, a lot of money, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> what about Zaira? Zaira Marlene Larin. Present teacher. Hello, Zaira. How was your weekend? Hello. My weekend. I was in in daily and busy. Okay. In my work. At work. Yes, teacher. 
easy for you that question because you only say I work. <laughs> my work, only my work, all yeah. the week. When is your day off, Saira? In... Creo, teacher. No sé cómo dice. Eh, Sunday, Monday. No, your day off. Monday, Tuesday. Your day yes. off. The days you yes. don't work. Yes. Monday and Tuesday. My day off is um, because uh, other, other, other week is uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Other week. You don't work? No. Day off is when you don't work. No voy a trabajar. Yes. Day off. Yeah. Me voy a tomar domingo, lunes, martes y miércoles de la otra semana. But usually when are your day off? Ah, eh, usually in Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. So you didn't Tuesday. work today? Eh, always. You didn't work today? You didn't? Work. You didn't work today? Yes, uh, not work uh, this day. Ah, and what did you do today? I <laughs> confused. <laughs> yes, you didn't work today. Yes. yes. So what did you do today? I am... Ah, no sé cómo decirlo, Ah, come on, you can do it. Um, going to uh, travel at the beach esta vez. Today? My day, see, my day off. No, I'm asking you today. What did you do today? No es que voy a hacer. No, what did you do today? Oh, no, teacher, ya me bloqueé, no le, no le estoy comprendiendo. Okay, you didn't work today, yes? Yes. So, what did you do? What did you do? Did you go to the supermarket? Did you go out? Uh, no, teacher, le quería decir que esos días los ocuparé para ir a la playa. Normalmente. Okay. Going to the supermarket, the de, de, de eight. De... Pero usted no trabajó hoy. Eso le estoy preguntando, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Trabajo hoy. I am work today. Ah, okay. Okay, you work today. Good. Thank you. And Mayra, where are these? Mayra, Mayra, turn on your camera, please. Teacher, no he llegado a mi casa todavía. Deme chancecito. Vaya, pues. Es que está lloviendo. <risa> de veritas, de veritas. Ok. María Ivania Palma. Present Hello, teacher. Ivania. Hello, teacher. What did you do on your weekend? Um, in my weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, uh, all, all day. Um, I was work. I was worked. Yes. I was worked. 
Ivania. I wear. I wear. No. People, um, ¿cómo decimos yo trabajé? I work. Work. I, I work. I work. Yeah. Si usted quiere decir estuve trabajando es otra forma, es otra cosa, pero ah. okay. eso no sé si ya lo vimos. Es I was working. I, I, yeah. Estuve trabajando. Ok. I, pero si, si digo, ¿qué hizo? I worked. Past. That's it. I worked. Only. Yeah. Ok. Yeah, so no se compliquen. Uh -huh. I worked. Ok. I worked. Um, María de Concepción Cerón. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mary. Uh, what did you do? Uh, Saturday. On Saturday, I uh, worked. I worked. And Sunday, um, visited the shirt. Ah, okay, very good. By the way, uh, Ivania, you have the personal session today, okay? Good evening, teacher. Um, okay. Hey, Ivania, good evening. Okay, thank you, Mary. Laura Carolina Vigil. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Laura. Tell me about your weekend. In my weekend, in my weekend, what? Well, oh, in my weekend, I went to the uh, a cashier for money in the oh. small oh. <laughs> for to pay teacher. <laughs> uh, then I went to eat. Uh, later, uh, and and um, bueno, I went uh, no become the the house uh, <laughs> and Sunday and did not go anywhere. I sell. I stay there. I stay just. Uh, started at home, the cleaning and the, the uh, washing the clothes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Very okay. good. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Thank you, uh, Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Catherine. So, how was your weekend? Well, on Saturday uh, in the morning, I worked and then I go to the super, I went to the supermarket okay. and I cleaned my house and then we cooked dinner with my family. Um, okay. On Saturday, on Sunday, sorry. I went to the church and my family and I celebrate my nephew's birthday. Mm -hmm. Only that did you. Okay, very good. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Rodrigo. What did you Hello. do on your weekend? In the Saturday, uh, Monte Mayaba. The afternoon supermarket. Uh, ah, me oraciones, Rodrigo. Okay. Esas no son oraciones. Ah, okay. Uh, the Saturday in morning in my job. Ajá. Uh, by Saturday supermarket, my wife. Esa no, no, esa no. no, es, no es una oración completa. Uh, and so in the afternoon go supermarket by wife. I went to I the went, supermarket okay. with my wife. Oh, with my wife. Sunday, a breakfast, my family. Okay, uh, well, you need verbs in those sentences, Rodrigo. You are not using verbs. You say Sunday breakfast 
my family. Yes. But Sunday I ate breakfast. Oh, okay. Or I had breakfast with my, my family. family. Okay. Uh -huh. in, in house. In the house. Okay. Okay. Jose Jonathan Vigil is here. No. Jose Galileo Barrera. Good evening, teacher. Hello. What did you do on your weekend, Galileo? My weekend began on Friday. Mm. I drove from San Salvador to Sultan like every week. After and class? Uh, no, my class, re I received my class in Usulutan. Oh, the you last, were in Usulutan. Ah, the last okay. Friday, yeah. Okay. Sometimes, uh, sometime after class, I went to Usulutan. Sometimes. But the last Friday, I, I received my class in Usulutan. Ah, okay. So, uh, in, on Saturday, I I went to uh, Pisa, Papa John's in San Miguel. I ate, ate uh, pepperoni pizza with my family and after we returned, returned to uh, home, uh, at night, uh, my wife went to hit her work. Uh, at night, my wife worked. Mm -hmm. uh, on Sunday, I was, I, I was nanny. I was nanny with my little uh -huh. son. Okay. So I took care uh, by my baby. And uh, then I went to uh, to the hospital to pick up pick it up to my wife my wife I don't know if the correct way to say it is but I went for my wife after her work and uh, today uh, I woke up in Sultan I got up at 3.30 a.m. And I came back to San Salvador early, really early. Wow, very early, yes. Yeah, and now I have the pleasure to be with, you, with us, with okay. you and my partners. Perfect. Thank you very much, Galileo. Thank you. Arnoldo, are you able to tell us about your weekend? The, this weekend, I went my tune for for work. Uh, Saturday in the in the morning, I went a meeting with my boss. And Saturday. After I work it, I, I went with my, with my house and I sleep every afternoon. I sick um, before yesterday. Okay. No more. Okay. Thank you. 
Um, what about uh, Javier? Javier Aldair Escobar. Your teacher. Uh, well, my the week weekend, pardon. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I did many things on my weekend. Uh, on Saturday, I went out with my girlfriend and her family. Uh, we went to buy things for the house, and on Sunday, I accompanied here to an event, and then I went out to lunch with my girlfriend, and they, I watched the game. Selecta versus Honduras. Ah, you go to the stadium? No, no. no. Ah, okay. Hashtag Nelkovi. <laughs> okay, thank you, Javier. Okay. Frida, Janine Mejia. Hello, everyone. My weekend was very busy. On Saturday, I went to my mom's clinic and then I went to buy shoes for my daughter. And on Sunday morning, I went to the church and then my mother, my stepfather and my mother-in-law come to my house for lunch. Okay. Came, sorry, came to my house okay. Okay. for lunch. Okay, very good. Thank you, Frida. Uh, Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Hi, Dinora. Can you tell us about your weekend? Okay, on Saturday, um, I had a lunch with my family. I went to the park with my niece. And on Sunday, I went to church and I saw uh, La Selecta and I ate pupusas and that's it. Okay, very good, thank you. Brian, Brian Javier Carmona is not here. And Ana Lilian Reyes. Finally, the last one. Hi, Ana Lilian, how was your weekend? I'm and my weekend was, was um, going this on Saturday. I, I work until 12. Uh, then, then I went to the supermarket. Um, on Sunday morning, para decir misa, teacher. Mas. Mas. Okay. Mas. Uh -huh. Um, Sunday morning, uh, went to mass. Yeah. <laughs> um, as with my family and afternoon we went to to visit my house fam family la familia de mi esposo uh -huh. okay Thanks. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Okay. Ah, it was better than last Monday. Estuvo mejor que el lunes pasado, people. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations, okay? So it's important you to practice and try to speak. Yeah. 
Hey, Mayra, are you home? Mayra. Not yet. No, no ha llegado todavía. Está lloviendo, no pasan los buses. <laughs> ok. Me, me acuerdan más tarde que no se nos vaya a pasar, Mayra. Ok, people, uh, I hope you practice, practice the verbs, study the verbs. I gave you a list of verbs. Um, try to use sentences, use uh, prepositions in your sentences, ok? Um, no, 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 no hablemos eh, eh, yo eh, ir... ¿Verdad? O, por ejemplo, I went to visit my family. O, I uh, need to form sentences. Ok, so, acostúmbrense a eso, a formar oraciones, a formar frases. Eh, el vocabulario ya lo tienen, ya lo vimos. Todo eso ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Es cuestión de estarlo usando mire yo no sé si ya lo hacen pero traten de que de, de, de poner a su cerebro a pensar durante el día cómo diría esto en inglés si yo quisiera decir esto en inglés cómo lo haría ok y, y pongan su, tere, su cerebro a trabajar a conectar todo lo que ya conocen porque miren este Uh, que estamos hablando de eh, eh, estamos hablando de 50 horas a la semana no, no 10 horas a la semana 40 horas, horas del módulo eh, es, es bastante eh, entonces es, es importante que durante el resto del día ustedes también pongan a, a, a funcionar su cerebro ahí no necesariamente tal vez en cosas del trabajo pero Traten de ir pensando en inglés. ¿Cómo diría esto en inglés? ¿Ya? Es importante. Ok. Tonight. Tonight's topic is very interesting. Uh, let me share the screen with you. Bueno, sí, es tarde como para... Para hacer una revisión de lo que vimos en el present perfect. Pero. Bien, no lo, lo vamos a hacer mejor mañana. Mañana terminamos este módulo, esta unidad, perdón. Entonces, mañana vamos a, a, a revisar, a hacer un, algunos ejercicios de present perfect. Ok. So, where is the... Oh, yeah. Let me share the screen to start with today's lesson, ok? To re how to report a work absence in English, ok? Make a phone call to report sickness. So when you call to, to your company, you call to your boss to tell, hey boss, you know, I'm not feeling well today. I am sick. So I'm not going to, to work today because I am sick. So we're going to learn some expressions and some tips if we have time on, on that topic. There is a couple of questions here. Do you often get sick? And what are the procedures to report a work absence? Huh. Well, let me ask you the first question. Do you often get sick? Yes or no? I am sick in this moment. Yeah, no. Arnoldo is sick okay. today. But... Teacher, what's the meaning sickness? Sickness. Okay. What is sick? 
enfermo. Enfermo. So, sickness. You're going to report. Como incapacidades o algo así. No. Sickness. Sickness. Enfermedad. Uh, yes. Exactly. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Sickness. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, and what are the procedures? That is the other question. What are the procedures to report a work absence in your company? What do you have to do if you are not going to, to work, are not going to go to work because you are sick? In my case, sick work. <laughs> you work even when you are I sick. Work. Bronconeumonía. You were work. in bronconeumonía. Yeah. My goodness. Nebulización en la mañanita. No sé cómo se dice nebulización. In the morning. And in five minutes, work. Wow. <laughs> My work. Yeah. Okay. So you never uh, call sick? No. Uh, work. Okay. Blue. Work, uh, <laughs> uh, bronconeumonia, um, infections, work, work, work. Always work. <laughs> only, <Yeah. laughs> only employment. <laughs> okay, so what about the others? What happened? What do you have to do if you are not going to go to work because you are sick? What is the procedure in your company? In my case, for example, uh, if I'm not going to work, well, I can call my boss and tell him, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not going to work today. I am sick, but I am going to uh, go to the doctors to present uh, a document, okay? So, to let them know that the doctor is giving me a, a disability or a license. So, and then I send a copy of the license and that's it. Preferable if I go to the social security, yeah, clinic. So that is what I have to do if I call in sick. What about you? Do you understand what I said? Yes, teacher. In my case, is the same process that you, but in my work, they don't admit a license for um. Clínicas que no sean el seguro. How, how can I do it? How can I say it? Private, private, private doctor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Private doctor. They only admit for ease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you if you present a, a listen for a independence doctor, they don't don't accept it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, actually that happened to me when I had a COVID. So I had to take the the document from Seguro Social. So in order to get paid, to get my money. Okay, any other procedure? Someone has a different procedure or only call? Or what happened if you call in sick? In my case, it's just one call. If I am sick, I call to my boss and explain, explain him what happened with me. And in case of my uh, my team, they just call to me and 
sometimes I receive uh, compliment or documents from uh, is okay. I S S S. Yes, only. Okay. Good. Anyone else? That's it. In my case, um, um, I pass with pain in my neck, uh, but I never miss work. Um, but uh, but if it will make me sick, I will have to call my boss to notify uh, me notified uh, I don't go to work and because I am the boss they will let me take a day off if I need more I must be justified uh, or I need justified the day okay Okay. ¿Cómo sería justificar? Yeah, justify. Okay. More is more than justify. Yes, justify. Okay. Well, let's see this conversation uh, between Mr. Ruiz, Ruiz and Jani. Let me share the screen to practice this conversation. Okay. It says, good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Hmm? Very easy. Good boss, Mr. Ruiz. Okay. Now listen and repeat after me. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. Mr. Ruiz. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay. I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? There's something going, going around. around. I hope you are feeling better. I hope you are feeling, feeling better. better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I am in tip top shape. shape. Take, it. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thank, Thank you, you. Yes. 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 I hope to see you on Monday. 
Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. If you see these uh, sentences are some kind of expressions. These expressions are, uh, how can I say? Son uh, frases que no se interpretan. My goodness, what was that? A thunder? A thunder. A, yeah? Wow. Was really close. Okay, sorry. so. No, 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 don't be sorry. It's not, not tu culpa. No sé, pero tenía encendido el micrófono. Okay, so, son expresiones que no tienen sentido literalmente, ¿verdad? So, sino que eh, son frases que sabemos que en todos los idiomas existen que significan otra cosa. For example, my, my stomach is killing me. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, so you have you have problems, you are sick. And, uh, and, and your stomach is sick, so that is that is your problem. I am as sick as a dog. So you mean that you are very sick. Uh, I was feeling under the weather. Feeling under the weather. There is something going around. In, to be in tip-top shape. Take it easy. Okay, so these are some expressions that we can use to in different situations actually, in different situations, okay? Let's practice the conversation now. Repeat after, no, repeat, no, not repeat after me. So you are Mr. Ruiz and I am, no, I am Mr. Ruiz and you are Jenny, okay? I begin. Um, good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. today. My stomach is killing me. me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather, too. Oh, really? Oh, really? There's something, something going, going around. around. Oh, are I hope better? you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice day. rest of the day. Nice day. The day. Okay. Now you are Mr. Ruiz. One, two, three. Good morning, Good morning. this is Mr. Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Hi Jani. Tell, tell me, tell me what's what the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay. okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling, under, ago, I was feeling under, under the weather, weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I am in tip top shape. shape. <laughs> Tape, take it easy, Jenny. 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 I, I hope, I hope to, see to see you on Monday. On Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Um, now, I'll send you to work in pairs to practice the conversation. And there are a couple of questions here, okay? To respond. 
Why can't Jenny go to work? And how does Mr. Ruiz respond to the situation? Okay. So let me form the groups. Okay, a moment. Two, 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 two. Okay. So please join your groups, practice the conversation, and respond the questions on exercise three. See you in a moment.
Okay, people, welcome back. Let me hear some of you practicing the conversation. Uh, let's see, let me start with uh, Frida and Maria Concepcion, please. Okay, good morning. This is Mr. Reeves. Hi, Jenny, tell me what's the matter? Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh yeah, I'm in tip-top shape. Take, take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, please, let's continue with Dinora and Catherine. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what is the matter? I know feel, I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going wrong. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. I have a nice rest of the day. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see. Zaira and Wendy, please. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz, this is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny, tell me what the matter? If not feeling well today, my stomach, my, my stomach, stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Today ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I mean, the top shape, they eat AC. Jenny, I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Thank you. Javier and Rodrigo. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. Maybe in tip top shape, they eat AC, Jenny. I have to see you, you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. No, thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. I have a nice rest of the day. Thank you. And Galileo and Myra. Yes, teacher, I am Mr. Reese. 
Mayra is Jan. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz, this is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm, I am, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of day. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, and see, Vania was working with Laura, but Laura had electricity problems. Okay, any question with the conversation, people? No? Okay. So, two questions here. Why can't, Gen why can't Jenny go to work? Because she didn't well today. She? She didn't well. She didn't verb, you need a verb. She didn't feel well. Ah, uh -huh. uh, okay. She didn't feel well, okay, good. And how does Mr. Reese respond to the situation? He is a very polite and, and he say to Johnny that uh -huh. don't worry and that he hopes to see her on Monday. Uh -huh. Very polite. Uh, what other attitude has Mr. Ruiz? He understand her because, yes. mm -hmm. because he, he has or he had one similar situation. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Any other answer? Algo más? Comprehensive. Yeah, muy comprensivo. Understanding. Empathic. Right. Empathic, yes. Good, good word. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, let's take the second attendance of the evening. So please, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Brian Javier Carmona. No. Dinor Alejandro Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. I'm here, teacher. Good. Uh, Jose Galileo Barrera. Present. Good. Jose Jonathan Vigil. No. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Laura Carolina Vigil. Uh, she had a blackout. Eh, María Concepción Cerón. María Ivania Palma. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Orellana, Mauricio Antonio Rivera, Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present teacher. Rocío Lourdes, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Thank you. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay, very good. 
Well, let's take a look to this expression. Share the book again. Okay. Idiom. So these expressions are called idioms. Idiom. Uh, okay, let me mute your microphones. Idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from their literal meaning. Okay. For example, to be up in one's ears in work means to have a lot of work. So to be in your ears. So you have you have work hasta aquí. You have a lot of work. So we have these expressions here, as sick as a dog, under the weather too, there's something going around, my stomach is killing me, take it easy, can't afford to, this is a, one different, call in sick and tip top shape. Okay. So let's match these meanings with the idioms. Vamos a formar acá esto. Let me reduce this a little bit. Uh, okay, I think. Okay, which idiom means my stomach hurts badly? My stomach hurts badly. What idiom is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight? For my stomach is killing me. Yes, my stomach is killing me. Yeah. Ah, el estómago me duele mucho. My stomach start, hurts badly. Is my stomach is killing me. Okay. Good. Uh, so I want you to continue with the other seven. What is the meaning of under the weather to? Okay, and the other eight, the other seven. Okay. Uh, I'll send you to work in, in groups to do it together, to have thing better than one. Okay, so please match the idioms with the meanings, okay? See you in 10 minutes.
remember something. Okay. Going around. En la otra es, sería la siete, va. La número siete, la número ocho. Ahorita. Sí, Crisi, se le quiere poner el, el número para saber cuáles ya contestamos. Sí, Crisi, to be a, a sick a, a dog. Ok, my stomach is killing me. La cuatro. Ok. When, when you ¿Cuál me decía? When you finish this exercise, um, I want you to write one sentence with each idiom. Okay. All in six and uh, eight. The, the phone is the office to say you are sick. Yes. Why? Mm -hmm. well, I want to, to be to be very sick. Maybe it's number. When when you finish the exercise, I want you to write one sentence using each idiom. Okay. Okay. Each. Yes. Only one. One sentence each, per, per idiom. Um, all thing. Yes. Ah, oh, one sentence. One sentence per idiom. Yes. It was. It would be. Eight. Yes, eight sentences. sentences. Okay, teacher. Good. Um, okay. To read? Whether it can see by the set under the word two. Whether two. Con el clima dice whether two. No, but I said. Under the other two, number four is to relax to rest. I'm not feeling well. To feeling well. Is in great condition, don't have time to. Many people have to say same thing. From the office to say you are sick, call in sick. El ocho el siete va. Cuando terminen, yes. quiero que hagan oraciones, una oración con cada idioma. Ok. Ok, ok, teacher. Ok. Well.
Hello. You're not working. Hi, teacher. Yes, I work. Okay. Not together. You're not yes. working together. The idea is to work together. Okay. I'm Drake condition. Come see, can afford the heat. Can afford by underwater to something on the road. Something on the road. Can see. You know, I'm firm. Tip top shape. Tip top shape. Tip top shape. Ten or two. Don't have time to can ask for no say ask for two oh, number six. seven. Many people have the same team. There's something going around in yeah. number ten oh. around mm -hmm. to phone the office to say you are sick. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hola. Hello. Uh, we need help because uh, uh, we need uh, hacer una pregunta. A sentences with, uh, ¿cómo se dice este, este tipo de frases? Sorry, teacher. Son idioms. Aparte de que contestáramos eso, pidió algo más. Uh, les había pedido una oración, pero mejor hagan una conversación. La indicación que está abajo en la actividad 6. Una conversación utilizando de 4 a 5 idioms. Creo que nos quedamos con la pregunta. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Eh, eh, o sea que es, eh, los, eh, podríamos hacer una pregunta en lugar de, la, de las cinco oraciones porque son diferentes ¿no? no, no, no ya no hagan las oraciones háganme una conversación donde usen cuatro o cinco de esas expresiones de las que están arriba sí, de los idioms ok Okay, thank you, teacher. Ya va, chiquilla. Ya va. As a sick, uh, as a dog, call a dog. Salí de mi sesión, se fue la luz de mi casa. Okay. Estaba con Dinora. Con Dinora. Me salí, pero qué lindo. Así vi que me quedé solita. Ajá, vaya, ahorita comparto para hacer ya las. 
eh, ca cambio, cambio de planes. Uh -huh. Una conversación mejor, una conversación usando cuatro o cinco idioms en una ah, sola okay. conversación. Ok, teacher. Ok. Ok, okay teacher. El con es que under the weather to es bajo el clima de. There's something es que no tiene relación, no entiendo. Al menos que te quieras y sea tu relax, tu rest. Ay, Por eso es, así como habíamos dicho. Ay, no, sí. teacher. Y si la vamos ubicando. Recuerde que, que, ¿Cuál es la definición, definición de idioms que está en el libro? Idioms, dice, idioms, idioms, idioms. Ay, ¿dónde está? Idioms, idioms are word or phrase which means something different way? from the literal meaning. For example, to be, up, to be up in one's ear in word. What is the definition of idioms? Idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from the literal meaning ah. meaning ah. for example to be up in one's ear in work no, no es un significado literal o sea no estamos buscando it's la not, traducción literal did not ace the chair <laughs> okay uh, ah. Ok. <risa> es que no entendemos. Borro entonces, todo porque take it, entonces nada. Take it is. Así como cuando usted dice está ¿Qué puedo decir? Están lloviendo sapos y culebras. Eh, <risa> Micos es, y pericos. <risa> eso es literal. No. No, ¿verdad? No. Eso es un idioma. Pero es que no, o sea, si es un idioma. Denos pero... otro ejemplo de los que están aquí, no. teacher, para ver si de ahí agarramos más. Bueno, el de Under the weather. <risa> Por ejemplo, as, as, the as a dog lo hemos ah. asociado con. Con. Ay, se me olvidó. Ah, con tu very sick. Very sick. Ok. Ok. Uh, under the weather too. Mm. To relax, to relax, to rest. Uh -huh. To relax, to rest. Exacto. Entonces, under the weather too. To relax, to rest. No. No. La, to relax, to stay yes. Claro. No. Oh. Y under the weather too, in great condition. No. 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 Te quiero sí. Okay. I'm sick. As to be very sick. Dog. To be very sick as the adult. Under the weather. To... Take it easy. To relax. Take it easy to relax. Is to relax. To relax. To rest. Take it easy. Take it easy. Calling sick is to from the office to say you are sick. Calling sick. Mire, este.
Okay, people, uh, before you continue, let's check your, your work with exercise five. Let's see. Uh, my stomach hurts badly. Dijimos que es, my stomach is killing me. To be very sick? What is to be very sick? As sick as a dog. As sick, sick as a as dog. Sick as a dog. Okay. To relax, to rest? Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Not feeling well? Under the weather too. Under the weather too. In great condition? Keep the shape. What? Deep top, Deep top shape. Deep top shape. Don't have time to? And afford to. Many people have the same thing? There's something wrong. What? There is something There's going something. around. There is something going around. To phone the office to say you're sick? Call in sick. Call in sick, okay? Bueno. There you are, okay? So what is the meaning of as sick as a dog? To be very sick. Under the weather too, not feeling well. There's something going around. Many people have the same thing. My stomach's killing me. My stomach hurts badly. Take it easy to relax to rest. Can't afford to, don't have time to. Call in sick to phone the office to say you are sick and tip of shape in great condition. Now, the next activity is to create a short conversation using these idioms, only four idioms, okay? Four idioms. In your conversation, you can use the the, the model conversation to give you an idea. Okay, so you are going to create a new conversation using four idioms. All right. Eso es lo que van a hacer ahora. Una conversación usando cuatro de estos idioms dentro de la conversación. Okay. Continue working in your groups, please.
Hello, teacher. Quiero ver cómo sería decirle que estoy a, es, necesito decirle algo. Pero con idiomas. I sent off, off on the fence. Es, es estar como indeciso. I need. Ah, uh, hello, Katherine. Uh, really, I'm hoping. Cuando ah, uh, aquí. Okay. And are you cold? In sick to your boss. Creo que tendría que ser. Are you cool? Are you cold to you to our boss? Para decir que es el jefe de ambas. Ah, ok, ok. Tu or vos. Ajá, pero creo que tiene más sentido. Tu or vos, creo que tiene más sentido de nuestro jefe, porque después se termina diciendo que va a ser el proyecto. Uh -huh. Ok, está bien. Ok, and are you calling sick? Tu or vos? Yes, I call him early. And he said that he is the same. He is in the same situation. His stomach is healing, killing him. Okay, take it easy. I'm going to do the project for myself. Thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow and take medicine. Okay. Bye. La, la repasamos. Entonces mm. sería, take it easy. Uh -huh. You take it easy. For, for the, the traffic. traffic, the traffic, the traffic, for the traffic, you, uh -huh. you take it easy. Así dijo, take, take it easy, take it easy, for the traffic, you take yeah. it easy for the traffic, for the traffic, uh-huh. You take take it easy for the traffic. Ajá, algo relacionado. Entonces el otro sería. My stomach ya lo usamos. My stomach. Be very sick. As sick as. As a dog. As You are, in, you are in the correct way. Okay, you are right. Uh, a six as a dog, to be easy, then a full full body. Quizá, fíjese que, uh, quizá le voy a tener que dar una mejor a usted de esas. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Porque esas dos juntas, como que no. No, any problem. You are right. Let me check. Uh, I hope we are not going to be under the weather soon.
teacher. Hello. Se le tiene que quitar el apóstrofe ahí donde dice. Yes. Hello. Hello. ¿Cómo diría que María llamó para decir que está enferma con idioms? María called to be sick. No. What is the idiom? Calling sick. Yes. Calling sick. That's Pero estamos hablando en tercera persona. Se puede. Ya. Yeah. Calls. Bueno, pues sí, mira. No, 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 no apóstrofe. Uh -huh. Ahora, es, 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 María calls, es, is present or past? Past. Ah, so? Good. María llamó para reportarse enferma. Es lo que quería saber porque en ese caso con Irland se puede decir la frase en pasado o solamente yes. es present. No. Oh, you can use it in past. Okay. Let me think. Just use the verb in past. Uh, no. Color. Color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she cold? Yes. She wants to give a cold. Mm -hmm. cold no. no. Yeah, no S. Okay, that's it. Okay. Veamos qué otro podemos usar. Ah, podemos sacar es de que dijo él que lo del dolor de estómago. La tarea número 14. Uh -huh. y, y está mala una, creo yo. De la 14. Ajá. De... En la tercera semana, ¿verdad? Ahorita la voy a empezar a hacer yo. Did you finish, girls? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We're finished. Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, we finish. I cannot yes, hear you. Ah? Uh? Why, teacher? Why, teacher, we finished? We finish the conversation, yes? Yes, we finish a short conversation. Ah, no les escucho. I, we, can, we can hear you. We can hear you, teacher. We finish. No sé por qué, pero no les escucho. That's weird. Es extraño. Okay. You finished. Okay. Okay, see you later. The other groups are still working. See you. My work is under the weather, the weather. 
My work Thank is you. under the wind weather because my co work my workers workers are friendly because my work co workers somebody uh -huh. uh -huh. because my co workers Workers are, are friendly. Are friendly. Uh -huh. See? Friendly. Friendly. Okay. But my stomach is killing me. I ate very fast. Yeah, <laughs> time to speak in English. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's practice. You are Mayra, I am Galileo. Okay. Hello, Galileo. Hi, <laughs> Mayra. Did you hear that the news said? No, I didn't. We are in pandemic situation because there is something going around. Take it easy. Maybe we are going to be tip top shape. You are right. I hope we are not going to be under the weather too. I have the same too. Nice to see you, Galileo. I, uh, you too, Maya. Bye. Okay, teacher. Yes. We have uh, doubts with Mayra. This, mm -hmm. this expression, going to be to chair, shape, uh, is, it's fine in these sentences. Take it easy. Maybe we are going to be tip top shape. Is is okay in these sentences? Sentence. I'm thinking about that. Uh, because to be in tip top shape is to be in, in good condition. So yeah. We we said pandemic situation because there's like something there is something going around. Take it easy. Maybe we are going to be in tip top shape. You're right. I hope. Okay. Uh, um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I said maybe. I would say, I hope we are going to be in tip top shape. He is going to be in tip top shape. Mm -hmm. Going to be in. To going be to be in. in. I mean, yeah, this is to be in tip top shape. In tip top shape. Okay. Uh, teacher, Mayra is really smart. Yes, I know. She, she can uh, talk in English and her pronunciation is really good. Uh, so far. So far. No. no, no, no. <laughs> Mayra, Mayra learned so fast. Yeah. Yes. She's a good, yeah? He's a good student. Yeah, <laughs> when she come when she comes to class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. But she, she, she hear one word pronunciation and she repeat it and she say it very good pronunciation. She have oh, yeah. very good she has very good pronunciation. Yes, it's that. time to finish, man. Okay, so yeah, let's yeah, go right now. <laughs> okay, gracias, Mayra. Thank you, teacher. Okay.
Okay. Okay, people, it's time to finish tonight. We're going to check your conversations tomorrow. Please, let's take this, the last attendance, okay? Uh, Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Dino, good night. Dinor Alejandro Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Frida no. Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Goodbye. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Eh, Jose Garileo Barrera. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Laura Carolina Vigil. Eh, María Concepción Cerón. Present teacher. Thank you. María Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Thank you. See you in a moment. Mayra Berelice Moreno. Present teacher. Good night. Nice. Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay. Good night, people. See you tomorrow. Good night. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Blessing. En la tarea 2 de la, de la 14 no acepta ninguna de las respuestas. De la parte de la 14. Lesión 14, tarea 2. Yeah. Claro, voy a revisar y luego les respondo ahí en el grupo. Ok, good night. Ok, good night. Okay. Okay, Ivania, algo que quiera que repasemos. No le escucho. Y, eh, lo que hicimos ahora, teacher. Okay. Las esas expresiones este se usan todas unidas, no se pueden separar, ¿verdad? Uh, se, no, se pueden eh, cambiar algunas cosas, por ejemplo, bueno, algunas. Por ejemplo, as sick as a dog, sí, eso, así, así se usa. Mm -hmm. Take it easy también, under the weather. Es under the weather. El tú, yo creo que ese tú está. No está de más. Can afford to, es así. There's something going around. Calling sick. Tip top shape. My stomach is killing me. Bueno, eso se puede usar con cualquier parte del cuerpo, ¿no? Ah. <coughs> My, my back is killing me. My head yes. is killing me. Uh -huh. No se puede usar con cualquier parte del, del cuerpo. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Y um, es así, no hay como un orden para usarla, ¿verdad? No, recuerde que no, son, no. son expresiones, son... Ajá, expresiones. Ajá. En verdad que... Eh, como las que usamos incluso en español, ¿no? No. Eh, ¿Qué sé yo? Como les decía, ¿no? Uh, Están lloviendo a cántaros, está lloviendo sapos y culebras, decimos. Quiere decir, significa que está lloviendo fuerte. ¿Verdad? Eh, 
por ejemplo, cuando uno está muy cansado, me, me siento molido, dice. No es que lo han pasado por un molino, ¿no? Sino que está cansado. Ajá. Esos son este tipo de expresiones. ¿Verdad? Y, por sí, ejemplo, I see, I, I see as a dog. Sí. Tan enfermo como un perro. <risa> ah, ok. Entonces, ahí donde no podemos decir, mi perro está enfermo, ¿verdad? No. Para... Son como un como comparativo. Sí. Ah, con... yeah. I feel as sick as a dog. O sea, me siento muy mal. O sea, estoy diciendo que me siento muy enfermo. I am as sick as a dog. You are as sick as a dog. My brother is as sick as a dog. My son is as sick as a dog. So, so. Y siempre se tiene que usar ese as. No sí. se puede decir. I, I sick as a dog. No. Siempre se tiene que usar ese as. Sí. Tan enfermo como. Tan mal como. Eso significa. ¿Algo más ahí? Sí, sí. Solo ese que sí me pareció. Nos no costó bastante. En el, en el grupo. Ah. Ajá. Es que eso significa. Sí, ese, ese as... As sick as, esa es una forma de comparar dos cosas. Significa tan como. ¿Verdad? Eso se usa para comparar cosas, personas. Él es tan sí. alto como yo, para decir algo así. Ese as as. Ajá. Dígame. Este, y esas expresiones... Pueden ir ya sea en medio o al final de una oración, ¿verdad? Dependiendo cómo se apliquen. Sí. sí. Nosotros hicimos una, este teacher, que no sé si tal vez el orden que le dimos, por ejemplo, tomamos el Under the Weather too. Ajá. My work under the weather too, because eh, co-workers co are friendly. ¿Estaría correcta? No. Porque ¿qué significa under the weather? Eh, un clima, eh, bajo un clima o sobre un clima. No. No. Recuerde que estas, que estas cosas no no tienen un significado literal, o sea. Yo estoy tan, en, tan enfermo como un perro, o sea, yo no soy un perro. Ajá. No, si usted traduce esto palabra por palabra, eso no tiene sentido. Ajá. Sí, más que todo la número dos. Entonces, ¿qué dijimos que significaba uh -huh. under the weather? De todos estos significados, ¿cuál les dije que era under the weather? ¿No se recuerda? No. Es esto. Under the weather significa not feeling well. ¿Cómo lo asociamos? Not feeling well. Vean la, en la conversación acá cómo se usa. Ah, en la conversación. Aquí, eh. Ok, I understand. Two days ago I was feeling under the weather too. Hace dos días yo no me sentía bien. Ah. O yo me estaba sintiendo 
under the weather too. O sea, yo me estaba sintiendo mal. Porque recuerde que under the weather significa no not feel. feeling well. Oh. <laughs> under the weather significa no, no sentirse bien. Uh, les soy honesto, yo estas estos expresiones que están en, este, en esta clase ya, no se escuchan muy comúnmente, ¿no? pero, ah. bueno, pero hay que, hay que verlas, ¿no? hay que conocerlas. Algunas sí, las que, le, las que sí se, se usan. Take it easy. Take it easy, ajá. ¿Verdad? Eh, take it easy. Can afford to call in sick. Uh, esto. There's something going around. Uh, ¿Qué le puedo decir? O sea, sí, las he escuchado. O sea, teacher, de que si yo le digo, este, under the weather too, usted me entiende que no me siento bien. Ajá, pero tiene, sí. Con solo decir esa expresión, ya me doy a entender. Eso. Ah. Tiene que armar la oración, ¿no? I am under the weather, or I am feeling, Ajá. I am feeling Entonces, under the weather. ¿Verdad? Under so, the weather too. Sí. Okay. I feel under the weather too. Yo me siento mal. No, yo no me siento bien. I feel. Eso es para armar las oraciones siempre tenemos que usarlo de abajo. No. No. O sea, es el sentido que significa eso. Ajá. Yo también me siento mal. I feel under the weather too. Solo I feel or I am feel? No, I feel. I feel. Okay. Yo me siento. <clears throat> o sea, usted puede decir yo me siento, yo me sentía. Puedo usar el pasado también. Claro. Ah, pues solo, es, solo eso, Tichu. Ah, pues es, que es, que es bueno conocerlas porque a veces uno se puede encontrar con alguien que las mencione. Ah, que las ya. mencione y no saber qué, qué significan uh -huh. o qué quieren decir. Pero como digo, las que yo sí he escuchado y se usan son estas que están marcadas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Esta sí que es a dog, la verdad, nunca la había escuchado, pero. As sick as the horse. <risa> no, no, nunca había escuchado esas. Esta nunca la había escuchado, <risa> ni esta, ni esta. Pero estas otras sí. Ajá. Son más comunes. Son más comunes. Ok, teacher. Ok, ¿algo más, Ivania? No, no, teacher. Perfecto. Ok, thank you. Thank Ivania. you, teacher. Oh, good night. Good okay. night. Bye bye. bye.